Atlanta, a booming metropolitan situated in northern Georgia among the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains. Some would say it's the cultural hub of the southern United States. It also holds one of the most historic and notorious federal prisons in the United States, USP Atlanta. We'll review some prison facts and figures before getting into notable inmates and incidents at the prison. Let's get into it. The city of Atlanta was established in 1847 and now has 498,715 people living within the city limits. This makes it the 38th most populous city in the United States and the most populated in Georgia. Atlanta hosted the 1996 Summer Olympics, bringing international fame to the city. Hartsfield-Jackson Atlanta International Airport is the busiest airport in the world, acting as a hub for most of the United States. If you've ever done any air travel in the United States, it is likely you had a layover in Atlanta. USP Atlanta was a result of the Three Prisons Act of 1891. The prison was authorized by President McKinley in 1899, one of the few prisons in the U.S. before 1900. USP Atlanta was designed by Eames and Young. Among their other notable designs are the Masonic Temple in St. Louis and the Alaska Building, the latter being the first steel frame high-rise in Seattle, Washington. The prison they designed has an unforgettable front and must have been a sight to see after it first opened. The prison had four to five level cell blocks housing the men in single and double occupancy cells. In January 1902, the prison opened its doors to receive its first offenders, six men from Sing Sing Correctional Facility. At that time, it was named Atlanta Federal Penitentiary. As time went on, the role of the prison changed. The prison was intended to hold the most dangerous offenders in the federal system and did for most of its history. In March 2005, the penitentiary was reclassified as a medium security facility. On the grounds is also a minimum security facility and a pre-trial detention center. As of August 2021, per the Bureau of Prisons, the facility had a maximum capacity of 2,435 with 80 segregation cells. USP Atlanta employs 463 staff that have direct contact with offenders. Over the last several years, the population of the facility has varied wildly, mainly due to scandals within the prison. In the low-security portion, it was discovered that inmates were leaving the facility through holes in the fence. They would get takeout, rendezvous with women, and return to the prison with contraband. On February 3rd, 2017, the FBI positioned themselves just outside the fence. They observed inmate Justin Stinson escape the prison and retrieve a large duffel bag from a stopped car. He would be stopped once he returned. The bag would contain a cellular telephone, a pair of scissors, two 1.75 liters of Jose Cuervo tequila, two cartons of Newport cigarettes, four boxes of black and mild cigars, and various food items. Stinson would plead guilty to escaping from federal custody and was sentenced to an additional one year and three months in prison. In 2021, a corruption investigation was initiated. The prison went into lockdown after investigators located a prevalence of narcotics and cellular devices being used by the inmate population. An employee at the prison said, I'd say 20 to 30 percent of the officers were dirty. Brian Stanton, also known as Lil B, ran a drug smuggling ring from his prison cell at USP Atlanta. Stanton used a cell phone to distribute 24 pounds of drugs between 2019 and 2020. He was convicted in 2022 and sentenced to an additional 300 months in prison. Congress investigated the prison in July 2022. Among the issues being investigated were that inmates endured months of lockdowns with limited or no access to the outdoors or basic services and had rats and roaches in their food and cells. Due to these issues, most of the inmates were transferred to other facilities while the issues were being investigated. The prison warden and the director of the BOP resigned as a result of their findings. USP Atlanta has a history of violence. Given that the facility was reclassified to medium security in 2005, most of the violence occurred prior to that date. In 2014, two inmates, Daniel LaFond and James Whittison, attacked another inmate. He did not survive. The attack was gang-related. According to the U.S. Attorney, these defendants, members of a white supremacist prison gang, brutally murdered another inmate for not objecting to having an African-American cellmate. LaFond received a life sentence, while Whittison was sentenced to 31 years. In 1987, the facility was housing 1,400 Cuban detainees. An agreement had been struck by the U.S. government to return 2,500 of the refugees from the Mariel boat lift. The Cuban detainees revolted after hearing the news. They took hostages and started fires. Numerous inmates were injured with one being killed by prison staff. The incident went on for 11 days and a negotiated settlement was able to be reached. A sizable portion of the facility suffered massive fire damage. 
In 1994, Correctional Officer D'Antonio Washington was killed at the facility after being struck by an offender with a ball-peen hammer. The assailant, Anthony Battle, confessed to the crime and received the death penalty. He is currently housed at MCFP Springfield. Another member of the staff was killed at the prison in 1979. Janice Highland worked as a contract dietitian. Robert Hogan was suspected in the attack and was transferred to USP Marion. He was killed at Marion prior to any conviction in the case. Before we move on to famous inmates at the prison, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any new content. The facility has housed many members of the American Mafia. Of course, most know the names Al Capone and Whitey Bulger. Both of them spent time at USP Atlanta. While lesser known, Jimmy Burke and Vincent Papa also spent time at the facility. Papa, known for his role in orchestrating the theft of French Connection drugs from the New York Police Department, he, along with his co-conspirators, stole 398 pounds of drugs worth $70 million. Papa would be sentenced to 22 years for trafficking and sent to USP Atlanta. In 1977, Papa would be attacked and killed. The FBI said the attackers did the job and did it very, very well. They added that they used shanks, honed from a piece of steel and then ground down, even fitted with a handle. Jimmy Burke, played by Robert De Niro in Goodfellas, was convicted in 1972 of extortion. Burke was attempting to collect a gambling debt owed to his boss. He would spend six years in USP Atlanta. Burke would later orchestrate the Lufthansa heist and would steal almost $6 million worth of jewelry and cash. Crime writer Nicholas Pelegi described Burke as a criminal savant. Burke would continue his life of crime and die in prison. Another notable inmate at the facility was Carlo Ponzi, one of the most famous fraudsters of his time. He would serve three years at the facility and was released in 1924. Although he didn't invent the Ponzi scheme, it was named after him. Of course, it would make news again when the largest Ponzi scheme in the world was perpetrated by Bernie Madoff. USP Atlanta is one of the most historic prisons in the United States. Over the last several years, it has repeated scandals with sections of the prison falling into disrepair. We'll have to see how much longer this facility stays open. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the corruption at this prison. As always, see you next time.